not a primordial explorer. This is a really good card though, so. These are all good, but I think this is the best. It's the wrong game mode for this card, what the hell? They're honestly all good cards though. So yeah, this is like a bad dwarven sharpshooter, kind of. It goes face though. Where? Yeah, it's better going face. We had dragons, maybe. Sure, why not? It's a little slow for Hunter typically, but you know, we don't have to be aggro. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I want Mushog. I'll draft probably a little slow because um, this is my first draft with these cards. Yeah, Fisherman is the highest win rate. Explosive shots close though. Explosive shots also picked. Significantly more. But uh, you might just need the two. I don't know. I'll try this. It's early. We can get other twos, hopefully. Uh, these are both good. Oh god, not this bug. It happened when I moused over, so I wonder. I've seen this like. It goes over, like, just different keywords randomly. Let me see if, like, leaving the window and coming back does it. Yeah, I don't know. As far as I can tell, I don't think anyone knows what causes that. It just happens sometimes. It's kind of funny. Imagine if people don't know. Or if you're on mobile, can you even mouse over to see keywords? <laughs> that might be a problem, actually. For mobile users. They already have things so hard. I'm gonna try the harvest. Hunter typically likes death rattles. They like aggressive stat minions too, but it's less important. You'd rather just guarantee yourself on board. I think. A bomb does go face, but I'll take the four. <laughs> this card is terrible, never picked it. This isn't the worst thing, but I like Banshee a lot. Easy AC. Um, I haven't picked up any other twos, and we do need twos, and um, I would like the mark, but I don't know if we can take it over uh, Raptor. Raptor's premium, because well, I don't actually think the beast tag is worth much in this class right now, but we don't have any twos. <laughs> right, I'm going to try the mark. Surely we get twos. Guess we go for the freezing here. It seems like this card would be pretty good. There's a lot of big drops. It's also kind of a two drop, so. Well, okay. Guess we'll take this now. I think even without the um even without the huntress, it was probably the pick there. It would have been closer though. Hmm, <laughs> discard. Tech W. This card can be good if you're really aggro. I really like Shell Fighter though. This card's kind of OP. Shit. This really punishes us for the earlier Hunter's Mark now. It's not the worst thing to have two of though. But we we're lacking twos now really hard. Um, we already have four threes. Maybe we can take the Kel command. The thing is, we have almost no beasts, so it's only three damage, and that's probably just not worth it. All right, we'll take the bear shark then. I guess. Yeah, I mean, how many um, Kek W? How many uh, divine shields are there in the game right now? I don't know actually. That's a high win rate, but it's almost never picked. Hmm. I guess we can try. We really need twos. Um, I'll take that. I guess this card's really good, but since we have so many threes, I think it is the better card. But just for curve. This is fine. 
If we had more curve minions, it could be the freezing trap too, but I, we don't have room for it right now. What do we have as far as dragons? Just this thing. Oh my god, if we could actually get that. There's a real chance you could get that too. Um, there's not much I want to brew, so sure, why not? <laughs> I guess an owl's okay. Dang. I want the two, but that's the worst card by a lot. And we also need fours. Well, we have three fours. We could still use more, obviously. This is the best card, but it's also the worst for our curve. I guess we have three twos, kind of. This is kind of a two. This is kind of a two. This can kind of be a two. In a way, we have four. Eh. This is probably just. This is probably a bigger minion than this. <laughs> so, eh, fine. Sure, why not? Hmm. Hmm. I know Life Forge was kind of crapping on this card. Like, if it was a 1 3, if you're going first, it's a, at least a 1 3. But if you're not, then it's terrible. I could see that. It's gotta be one of the one drops, obviously. This thing can be good, it can be. If you're against a lot of ping classes, what are the top classes? I forget. Are they ping classes? Alden Hunter Druid. They're not really ping classes, so Veteran's probably a little better than normal. But, um, also not really minions I want to buffing the attack of. Is that relevant? I don't know. New card. Well, I want the four, but, um, I should probably buy a gold in this. I want one. We're gonna be seeing a lot of it. Hmm, <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, that's never happening. And we still don't have a lot of beasts, right? We were offered one before. We do have like an owl, but... Owl kill command is the classic. Hunter lethal, what the hell happened here? <laughs> This is the weirdest bug, man. Wow. Wait, this is actually OP. Holy shit. We need a 2 also. <laughs> but this is just OP. Alright. This is a really good card, too. We got all the beasts all of a sudden. Wow, another secret, too. Alright. We have no weapons. Probably wouldn't be the pick anyway. But you could think about it if we had weapons. You're holding a dragon and it also hits the enemy hero. Probably this, right? Um, but just how many dragons we have. This, which is probably worth like one and a half dragon. And that. But if we draw this, it'll be on our hand for a while, so this will always be playable. It's probably this. We could take a big thing, but I don't think we need it. We have reload and a big guy. I don't think we need a big dummy. Fine. We had some way to... Trigger it a bunch of times on our own turn, maybe. 
you just want OTK with it. But we are not a druid with bees, unfortunately. Look for a better three drop. I don't know. Um, I haven't really looked at like what cards Paladin even has right now. I know Paladin's good right now. Do they have a lot of divine shields? I should have looked at this before the poll. All their top cards are dragon cards. Yeah. I know there's a handful of divine shields in the game. I don't think there's a lot though. Huh. It's a hell of a hand. Well, if I could pick an opening to have... Oh, I should open Deck Tracker. Let's see. If I could pick an opening against Paladin, man. This would probably be it. Oh! I didn't kill the hot air balloons, the funny thing. At least the hot air balloon did an extra point of damage to our opponent. The, um, hold up, my deck backers screwed. Because I don't have the game full screen. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Um. Oh, I just realized that was three swings. I thought this was two swings. Cac W. Three mana six three. That's pretty good. Let me restart the deck tracker in case that'll let it load the deck. I have to re add the game anyway. To be honest, do I really need to? Because I'm not playing enough runs that I need to track anyway. <laughs> it's still not loading the deck. Almost all of her deck is playable. Nice. Well, the card we got there basically was a 5 mana card though. That was basically Cobra Shot. If that was Cobra Shot, I wouldn't feel so bad. Actually, it's better than Cobra Shot because we got the hero power too. It appears that we are completely dead. Oh. That's useful. <laughs> are we gonna freezing trap this? <laughs> we might, dude. <laughs> we probably have to. That's so funny. <laughs> I wonder. We're such a bad hunter. We, it's just we have to. We don't have a choice. Actually, I don't know. I was gonna hesitate to make it less obvious what it was, but um, hesitating might make it more obvious because you wouldn't want to freeze that thing intuitively, right? But oh well. So I don't know if freezing it made it, if hesitating made it more or less obvious. We might just have to play Twin Tyrant now. 
I'm not sure. Just all our other plays suck is the problem. Yeah. Just all our other plays suck. And he used up a Dark Conviction. So, you never know. Hey, Ongsta. Teach you the meta. Dude, you should be teaching me the meta. The hunter becomes the hunted. I don't even know, is there a meta? Don't you just pick dragons? Seems like you just pick dragons. We didn't do that though. Hmm. This is kind of funny. <laughs> This guy's looking at that thing like, what the hell? This guy got dragons. This was how do you get this? It was discovered off of something. No! <laughs> oh my god. He lost a thousand gold doing ten runs in the poacher meta. Nice. You can just replay that. If it's worth it to us, we can throw. Well, I guess we throw three, these three into it. We're so dead, dude. Dude. Um. Shit. Our deck tracker is not working. I forget what our. We have one more secret. I forget what it is. It's the one that triggers the Venom's. It's Cobra. The one that spawns a Cobra. Venom Strike Crap? Trap or whatever? I think. But you literally knew what it was. You, you literally knew I had these. <laughs> he might have just assumed he was never gonna get it off, though. Don't Which worry, is kind of fair. He was never gonna get all these out of our hand, I mean. We're not that likely to have him. He used up both of his dogs. We're not that likely to have him actually activate the secret, so. I think we might as well tempo first. Freezing. Now we used both of our freezings. You are not welcome here. The oh my god. Dude, why did we use both of our freezings, baby rage? Like we have to smark him now. Just we have to. So we might make this trade because it lets us smart harder. I think we probably don't have a choice. GG. Well, I mean, if he doesn't have any taunts, we win. Probably. Why did I say it? And he knows what it is. Nice. I guess maybe not. So 
do we ever get there? Probably not. Thing is, I, I think the big problem is we don't have any good draws. And he also heals for 8. That's the other thing. But he's basically passing his turn. Presto, when we would have to get through this. So I guess we're gonna start to try. I don't even think we can kill all of it this turn, but this is why I really like this card, by the way. Just so much stuff you can do with it. Yeah, like we have to kill all this. My deck lacks weapons, Prime Explorer, and a Sharpshooter. We actually have a Prime Explorer and a Sharpshooter, but we just didn't draw them this game. But yeah, we don't have any weapons, and that's a problem. We kind of drew, like... Yeah, I mean, we drew some of our good cards, but, like, this is the deck. We have a pretty low curve, but we didn't really draw, like... We didn't draw this and really we just had we had a good tempo opening but he had a um he had a, a lance and that just won in the game for free basically he got three swings of his lance two mana two three weapon is really good it turns out Rexa versus Uther. i will fight with honor let the hunt begin now this is an opening. We could keep this for curve, but I think I'd rather find a secret or something. Two and twelve with a storm hammer, eight dragon deck. Yeah, we don't have a lot of dragons. Okay, do we um? I'm not sure as if we coin this out or not, because it makes it means we're here powering next turn. I feel like that's okay. <laughs> we can coin threes too. I don't know, man. Let's just uh, let's just do this. It's probably better for a curve because we can go three three and then three plus one. Or if he gives us a hero power target, we do that, right? Cause like if he doesn't give us, if we do the coin play and he doesn't give us a good hero power target, which he's not gonna want to, he's a paladin, he could just hero power, right? So then we get kind of, we kind of wreck ourselves. The hell do we play now? Might be this, honestly. I think so. I probably want to play the animal next turn. It would be a hell of a difference just having like one storm hammer, like comparing the value of a deck with storm hammer to one that doesn't. Deck W. So all three animals are really good here. Okay. That was probably the worst, but I mean, if he has a buff in his hand, it was. Better than Misha, so. Now we can deal 4 damage with just hero power in this guy. Of course. It's so awkward for us, actually. Probably just have to play Banshee, I guess. I don't know. This really sucks. <laughs> this just really sucks. You brought me back. Game. Gotcha. Okay. 
Storm Hammer just crushes. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it's like... It's a 3-mana three 3-2 three, weapon, right? So, And you just get infinite swings when you have dragons. They have to be on the board, right? But yeah, if you have a bunch of dragons, you just win. You just go face with it, too. I feel like... Really? Yeah, it's actually not that good for him. I don't know, I kind of feel like, um... It was a questionable decision for them to print Stormhammer and make it so, like, I feel like they should have probably made it so if you go face, it still uses up a weapon charge. <laughs> like, the way that you can just literally send all 10 charges, you can just send 10 charges face and win the game seems a little silly. <laughs> Not that you would ever need to use 10 charges because they'd be dead already, but... We know he has a dragon. It's kind of... I don't really want to discard my entire deck. I guess we just do this. I didn't need those cards anyway. I'm just trying to think if there's any reason we would kill one or the other. This can this is healable, I guess. It's probably more relevant than the fact that it's a Murloc, and he could like bring this back to his hand maybe, but Don't worry, loves, the cavalry's here. Remember when I was asking, like, I wonder if he has buffs. Cacw. Oh, so the problem is we have this card and we haven't played it yet. Which is a bad decision. But I don't want to play it into this. I don't really... I mean, I think it's okay if we play all three of these right now. I don't know. I guess, I don't know. It's not like we're getting more value out of these cards, I guess. We need this explorer to basically give us like an Alexstrasza or something. Although Alexstrasza is not even active. Probably won't be for a while. Oh, at least Primeval this Explorer is going to be good here. <laughs> hmm. Actually, it's pretty good. Uh, we should discover first. One cost spells. Um, one cost hunter spells. Most of them are crap. I kind of want the Alex. I mean, the Nazdarmu, obviously. Yeah, we'll try this, I guess. Don't worry, love. The cavalry. If he has a um, if he has a divine shield. We cry. Nothing should kill our guy, right? Because the charger would be too damage. The light dims, but he can't kill all of it. That's a little annoying. Right. Well, we actually can't kill both, so that's an issue. But 
At least we're not dead, so there's that. Okay, it's a good thing we didn't pick the other thing. Mm. Arcane shot is decent, so what we It's not enough by itself. What can we get? We get Hunter's Mark, that would do something. Can't really freezing trap, so I guess we do this. I Which is better? Sometimes we can't play it right now. I think this is fine. I'm thinking we use both of these to kill that. Like, so basically, like this and Hunter's Mark would have done the same thing. The thing is, we're losing like either way. <laughs> yeah, we actually do kill the the Murloc Knight here, but if he spawns another Murloc Knight, we lose. So there's that. Huh. Oh wait, we didn't take the Hunter's Mark. Oh, we do kill it. For some reason I thought we had this and the honors mark. Yeah, that would have been... That would be nice. But... We don't. The funny thing is, is that he can't really get value out of this, so it's actually not a problem, because his board is already full. So, you know. We have that advantage. If you want to call that an advantage. Nice Murloc Knight, bro. So this is his whole turn. Again, if he gets Murloc Knight, we lose. But now he can't do anything, I guess. If he has any buffs, he would imagine he would use it, so... He probably would have used it, like, turns ago, frankly, so... Um... Yeah, we just have a Venom Strike Trap in here. We can't really even play this. I mean, I guess we could, but I mean... It's not getting better, but I don't know. I don't know how we could possibly win. If he trades everything, gives us the sickest twin tyrant ever, we can maybe win. To be to be honest, like we just lose the game to his hero power at this point. There's no <laughs> there's no winning. Well yeah, like the one way we could win would be Twin Tyrant. Which is absolutely destroying everything he all his hopes and dreams. But uh, that's almost impossible. He's got to be killing that, right? There's no way he would just leave that thing up. Wow. Wow. Go. Hopes and dreams. Nice. Okay, no. I mean... 
It's about the best we could hope for, honestly. Can't really play this again, because, um... I mean, whether he freezes a 1-1 or this, it's not good for us. <laughs> I dream and the world hmm. Nice. I guess best draw is Hunter's Mark, I don't know. Oh my god, that's actually good. Well, that was definitely our best draw, actually. Um, the issue is we have no burn, so... Oh my god. If he has no taunt, we just maybe win. I need to stop saying that. This is the second time in a row I've said that. And then they've immediately played six health of taunt. <laughs> this guy has so many dragons, dude. This deck is like nothing but premium cards. <laughs> um. Well, we're theoretically not dead. He, we probably died to the Ysera spell, but... Because if it was a minion, he probably would have played it. So it's probably Nightmare or Awakens. It also, I bet Awakens, because that also explains why he wants to protect his health. I mean, he wants to protect his health because we're a hunter, well but you know. I'm betting Awakens. Ah, oh, it's Nightmare. Oh, that's... Um, yeah. It's already lethal, so... I think it's Nightmare. He still had more dragons, by the way. Or I guess oh, it was because he had the Ysera in his hand, I forgot. He had the 11-man Ysera to activate his dragon card. I guess that was probably his last dragon, though. So, in a way, he got value out of the Ysera by freezing him back into his hand. Two, th three paladins in a row. How to go... The funny thing is, is, like, both games we've drawn, like, well, maybe this will be the one that breaks the, re the streak, but both games we've drawn double one drop against Paladin and got out-tempoed anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Blood Knight might be, might actually be good. We'll probably have to play it on three though. Every paladin we've gone against has had divine shields, so. Hopefully it'll be good. Reporting for duty. We pretty much lost the last game because we got Leoc, and now we got Leoc again. Yeah. Okay, that's a good draw at least. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry. So now we should be able to contest basically any 4 drop. I don't know how many 6 health 4 drops there are. Besides Hippogriff. For the king. I don't think there's any. Or at least not many. Okay, I think we got this guy. That was a really weak turn 4. If he had any other 3 drop, basically, we would have already won. If it was like a 3 health 3 drop. There are a fair number of 3 4s right now. Well met. Yeah. Well, he had one of those too. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Hmm. If we explosive shot, it lets us push six while keeping him off board. It's probably worth it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we lost a lot of our... A lot of weak cards there. Our whole deck is kind of weak cards, so... I think with our deck we need to be pushing this damage, because um, we kind of have nothing else going for us, you know? Alright, you know. <laughs> I'll take it. Glory to the Sindori. I guess we'll just play this. We could owl his guy too, but this might also be good later. Mm. We might not necessarily have cards in our deck. Really, this thing doesn't screw us, right? If I must. I think Al just wins us the game, so. And Brightwing, we can actually play with Al. Even though we probably want to be hero powering. Okay, we actually just have lethal, right? We don't even need the storm fight. For Lorthamar. We can't not play bright one though. Dasta. Golden Dasta. That's the great thing about Primordial Explorer, is that it gives you the Golden Dragons, so. And we dodged 0-3 again. Yeah. Hopefully we can go against anyone but a Paladin. You know, this actually sucks, because Warrior kind of counters Hunter, but at least it's not a Paladin. Let the hunt begin. This is a decent opening, but we have a lot of ones. Kind of want a one. Got a one. I think it hasn't helped us that we've. Well, I think last game we went first, right? So the one game we went first, we won. What a surprise. <laughs> I think we probably won that game because we went first, too. I think this is a really brutal um, meta for going second. I've seen a lot of... You see complaining about that in every meta, but like I've seen like significantly more of this meta than normal. Although, not as much as you would see if Crip was playing the game mode. Then you would see a lot of it. Okay. Well, we don't want to play a 3-3 into this, and... If we can help it, we'd rather hold this in our hand anyway. For kind of obvious reasons. Gonna buff it, I imagine. Really? Well, oh, okay. He's holding the bananas for something. Which is interesting. He's probably holding them for the next game, I guess. I'm gonna use this because it lets us push three, and also, um, I don't care about the armor. And also, if you take the two here, it maybe puts this thing in risk here. Whoa. It doesn't work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he thought that would work differently. I think he thought he would get the four attack there. Ooh. 
He thought he would get four more attack on here, I think. If that wasn't clear <laughs> what I meant. Oh my god. I heard you don't have weapons, bro. Go against a guy with a war axe, a heroic strike, and a soul trade. Well, you guys are in the fourth one face, right? Yeah. Yeah. At least, um. It's a somewhat decent time to play Ball of Spiders. A simple spell. One cost warrior spells are actually pretty good. He could get Whirlwind, he could get Devastate, he could get. I don't know what else. Greetings from beyond hmm. the grave. He doesn't know chat. I think we can put him on not having Whirlwind, because I have to imagine you would have used it there. I mean, he probably would have used it. If it was in his hand, he would have used it before playing the Spellkin. <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? Seriously, what is he saving these bananas for? I'm so confused, actually. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm actually so confused. I'm thinking we're gonna play this and go phase. And kill this and go phase with everything else. Yeah, we're not putting him low enough that we actually threaten him, so. I could have cons considered saving these as a combo, but. I mean. The thing about. Killing your own divine shield is sometimes like you'd rather have the divine shield than 3-3, three, three, you know. Here we'd probably rather have the 3-3, three, three, but who knows. You'll probably use it now. Partially because I have nothing better to do. Oh. I have nothing better to do, I said. <laughs> I didn't know, chat. Oh damn it, how unlucky. At W. How unlucky. Our shit horse didn't have charge. <laughs> he likes that one. Oh no. We get three paladins. Well, I mean, the thing is, is like, as I was saying, like, warrior and priest kind of counter hunter, but I mean, priest is by far the worst class right now, so I don't think we're allowed to complain about this. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this. Um, you know, we don't really have better three drops. We have animal companion, but that's been Leoc both times, so screw that thing. I don't know if he's able to kill this. Well, priests have Shadow Word Pain. So there's definitely a way they can kill it. But do they have, like... Well, all the priest buffs cost three anyway. So I don't think they can... Besides Shadow Word Pain, I don't think they can kill this. It's still just such a risk. I don't think we do it. There's just no reason... This is a 5-3. Yeah, this should be fine. Um, Potion Madness is not in the game, right? I don't think so. 
but um Potion is not, but Shadow Madness is. Obviously, because um, unlike last meta, every other meta that's ever happened has had that card. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, um, I think either secret is pretty good. Uh, I mean, giving him, this thing's active, so you give him a five. This could be either Freezing Trap or Venom Strike Trap. Um, I think Venom Strike Trap would be good. The alternative play is just to tempo this out, because I don't think this is good, and I don't want to play this right now. I think we just do this. If we give him a 5 mana thing, we'll just live with it. Yeah, it's a 5 mana Fire Plum Phoenix. But, probably worth it for tempo. All that matters against Priest is, well, not all that matters, but you really just need to be on board, always. I guess we do it again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Surely that never gets mind controlled, right? <laughs> Surely? Twenty attack, poison. Oh. Oh my God! If he has shadow man, oh. you imagine? Oh no, not like this. Okay, <laughs> I can live with that. Probably being too cute if we try to do got the value trade, yeah, because he can heal and stuff and trade here. We probably don't want that. This is probably better. Struggle city for hunter with no weapons. Well, we're on a win streak, so don't speak too soon. But yeah, the difference between having a um, what was that weapon called? Storm hammer. I'm seeing having a storm hammer and not having a storm hammer. Pretty uh pretty sizable difference. There's also a hatchet. Hatchet's in the game too, and obviously Eagle Horn Bow's in the game. We just missed all of them. Wait, Storm Hammer is a shaman card, what am I thinking of? But yeah, there's hatchet and bow. Sure. I've got a huge guy. Oh. Really? I thought it was. Oh, it's an epic. That's why I didn't see it. It sounds like it should be. Why is it a hunter card? It looks like a shaman. Hmm. Because I was just looking at the top cards and I was expecting it to be there, but it wasn't there because it's an epic, so it just doesn't show. Yeah, I just had to scroll down a little bit. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. I 
How much of an ass do we want to be? I wonder. Can freeze that if we want to. <laughs> I mean, we have a freezing trap, so we don't. Yeah. We don't need this thing alive, is what I was going to say. We might as well just get this stuff out. Um, we have a Deathwing, so, you know, the way we interact with card advantage is very different than normal. So. It should be fine. Well, hammers are used for shamans and paladins. Yeah, that's what that's why I was thinking. Like, why is it a why is storm hammer? Because it looks like, you know, doom hammer and other cards that look a lot like a it would be a shaman card. Your feeble magic amuses me. Yeah, your deck looks a hell of a lot better than my deck. Is that what a hunter decks are supposed to look like? <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Can't kill this either. Because if we can kill this, we can freezing trap. Well, in a sense, we don't even want to freezing trap it, because um, I don't want to give it to him after Deathwing. So, yeah, I don't know. We can play this and he'll be like, there's no way in hell the guy would play a freezing trap here. <laughs> there's literally no one that would be that stupid. Funny thing is, is like, if we were playing on Deathwinging next turn, we would too, but I don't think we are. We might, to be honest. Actually, this is perfect because we actually get reload. Because I'm pretty sure we should get the death rattles after, right? Yeah. We should be good. As long as he's not sniping and just holding on to all his cards and he's gonna reload after death, right? which sucks. As long as the best deck you drafted was really just Stormhammer. Yeah. Not sniping part. So I'm pretty sure we should get all of this, right? Because we we get the two one, obviously. These should happen simultaneously, so. Yeah. The hell is that thing? <laughs> oh. It's like a really bad ball of spiders, man. <laughs> Hi, Rick. I wonder. What the hell is this card doing in this game mode? That's odd. What's the copy pasta? I use grant me. Hmm. Ah, I can't find it right now. Hmm. Hmm. Seems pretty good. The sad thing is, is, if we miss the Wind Fury, we might, we might actually have to trade with Deathwing. Because this thing could kill us. Okay, we don't trade with Deathwing anymore. It's still a little risky, actually. I don't know why he could play that would screw us. 
Even just like a Sunwalker would possibly kill us. But surely that doesn't happen. Oh my god. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. I honestly forgot that card existed. Regenerate. <laughs> Can you imagine if he had Sunwalker? Who would have gotten wrecked? Come on, let's play Hyreek. I want to increase the win rate of Hyreek. Don't do it, bro. Don't bottom right. Don't do it. He's not doing it. He appears to have X the game, which is an acceptable response to getting <laughs> death winged from. <laughs> that would be so tilting, actually. But we got it from Priority Explorer, right? I think we um I think we figured out how to use Primordial Explorer. Just win the game with it. Single handedly. After five you meet broken decks. Well we put, we met pretty broken decks at one and two at O O and O one. But yeah. Oh god, not a paladin. <laughs> this is our fourth paladin. Let the hunt begin. Okay, we're going first though. The odds of this being active on turn three are really low. I think we look for better cards. I think we need better cards. Alright, that is I think that is better. Actually they do have the one drop with Divine Shield. Best seats ever. It's not it. There is a chance that it would actually be active. Um, I guess we hear a power then. Because this being out early probably doesn't... It might make him not attack, I guess, so it might save us health. But, but it's going to be free, right? And we are going to do this, so... Come. So maybe we, we we do we we deal two damage to him, but maybe we would have saved ourselves two health. But we also give him less information. That's probably more important than health when you're at thirty. Like oh my god! Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> he didn't know. True silver. Well, we're gonna lose the game to True Silver anyway, so might as well get it over with. <laughs> Such easy sport. Now that it seems like he doesn't have True Silver. This only works. He's gonna play a secret immediately. Oh, man. What's this guy doing? Not automatically winning the game from being a paladin. That's unusual. Bad decision making. Kek W. Not so tough I would like to hold on to the poison, but it just doesn't make sense. The way to hold on to the poison would be trading with this and playing this instead of this, I guess. But eh. it just doesn't make sense. Don't worry, love. The cavalry. Go ahead, play your Amber Watcher. I dare you. Silly Paladin, not playing any overpowered cards by turn 5. Holding on to an ooze. 
hoping that I have a new target. I didn't see, that came from later in his hand, right? I don't think he was holding onto it super long. Because that game would have looked a lot different if he played that on turn 2, but I don't think he had it on turn 2. It would have been funny if he was holding it, though. Is Steed in the game? Oh, it, no, it's not in the game. It's really like on HS replay, like it still shows like there's one one time that a shoot that a steed was played, probably some weird like person transmitted data with um the wrong um time stamp or something. Okay, well last time we did this play we got wrecked, but that was against a uh, paladin. I don't think mage answers this, like at all. Um, yeah, there's no volcanic potion. Shit. Oh my god, that's rude. That is rude, man. At least we made him do that off curve. I don't think, um... Yikes. Um... Do we hear a power trade that? It's kind of sad. I don't think so, I don't know. But it's it doesn't feel like we can be trading <laughs> with this deck against someone that already has it more value than us. This feels wrong. A decent draw. Fortunately it's not active, but you know. Only this costs four. Double one coin shut down hard. Yeah, this is the third time already that we've done double coin one and we've gotten shut down. <laughs> I guess we play this. Prevents him from being able to just take this value trade. I really like this card. Man. Oh my god. Why is he hesitating? Did he expect something different to happen? Okay, he's just a Papega. Okay. You think I'm not gonna kill this thing? <laughs> like, what? What? What is the possible benefit to doing that? <laughs> Even if I didn't punish him, like, there is no world where you are rewarded for not making that attack there. It's literally not possible. As long as it keeps out of I can't do Merp's Hunter decks. I didn't really try to do a Merp Hunter deck, even. I mean, I, it, it kind of turned out that way, but like, it wasn't even like, wasn't even really my intention. Just, I didn't get anything else.
Like the only late the only late game card I passed was a uh, that 510, the overkill guy. That was the only late game card I skipped. Might have been like one more, but I don't know. It was cards like that though. Not much reason not to play one, I don't think. We see if he has healing, because if he doesn't have healing, we win, I guess. <laughs> nice. Okay. Why do I jinx myself? I don't know, it's the third time this run. <laughs> Literally, game one. If he doesn't have taunt, I win. He plays a uh, double two, three taunt. <laughs> Next guy, if he doesn't have taunt, I win. He plays a hippogriff. <laughs> this game. He doesn't have healing. I never learned my lesson. You should know this by now. Just has another fireball. Dead or alive. It's not just Taunt, he had life steal with Taunts. Yeah, that was. That was quite the interesting one. It's not like it made a difference though, but yeah, that definitely didn't make it easier. I think we would have lost that one anyway, even if he had no life steal. But it made it, um. Yeah. Anyway, right, I'm gonna do one more run, I think. I said I might just do one. We'll do one more. 